the law, and now it has won. Now at six, the Supreme Court decision that's getting big reaction and the impact it could have on more companies and even you as an employee. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Shambach. Paul is off this evening. Let's get to the breakdown of this ruling. With the five to four ruling, justices say employers with religious objections can refuse the federal health care's mandate that employers pay for employees' contraception. Hobby Lobby challenged that mandate, saying it violated First Amendment rights. We have team coverage for you this evening. KFCO's Bree Steffen is at Hobby Lobby's headquarters, and our Ariana Garza is at Edmond Hobby Lobby. We start with Ariana on what this decision means for local companies. Well, Jessica, this pertains to companies that are termed closely held, and that basically means that they're owned by a small number of people and they're typically not traded publicly. And that definition really came into play on how the court ruled on religious freedom in this case. No, it was a surprise. Todd Lyle is a certified public accountant. I expected that uh, the ruling would go against Hobby Lobby. He says although Hobby Lobby is owned by the Green family, the term closely held does not necessarily mean family owned. In contrast, say, to companies that stock are publicly traded in the marketplace, i.e., Devon or Sonic or Chesapeake or somebody like that, these are going to be companies that are held by. Uh, one or a small group of individuals that have co incorporated themselves. In today's ruling, closely held corporations are viewed as an extension of the individuals who own them, as opposed to corporations that are publicly traded. You've diversified the ownership substantially in a, in a broadly publicly traded corporation, and I think that is not what the, the authors of the, of the case are trying to capture. We reached out to other Oklahoma based businesses that are not publicly traded to see if they plan to follow Hobby Lobby's lead. Some declined comment, and others did not immediately return our calls. Now, only time will tell whether other closely held corporations that have really strong religious beliefs will try and copy Hobby Lobby. Ariana Garza, KOCO 5 News.